Shoplifters is a drama film about a Japanese family who commit petty crimes in order to cope with living a life of poverty. After one of their shoplifting sessions, the father and son come across a little girl in the freezing cold, locked outside her family's apartment on a balcony. At first the family is a little reluctant to shelter the poor girl, but after discovering that she is being abused back at her home, they decide to take her in for good, to take care of her and to make her a part of the family. Although they are poor, barely making any money, they seem to be living happily together until an unforeseen incident reveals hidden secrets, testing the bonds that unite them as a family. Knowing that the basic premise for this movie was about a family of shoplifters, I wondered to myself, hey, this could go in several different directions. Either it could be this very heavy drama about this family who's just trying to make ends meet, living in these really rough conditions and just desperately trying to survive from one day to the next, or it could be something more lighthearted, something more fun, a sort of fun for the whole family type of film in which this family is, is like, we're poor, but it doesn't matter because we have each other and we can always shoplift. Oh, isn't this silly. The film is definitely much more the latter rather than the former, and it really does an incredible job at making us fall in love with these characters almost instantly. They are truly as charming as can be. The film actually starts with a scene in which the father and the son are shoplifting. Big surprise. And while I was watching this, I was actually thinking to myself, wow, I know I'm watching these people doing something wrong, essentially, but I just can't help root for them. The film really doesn't want to make you judge these characters, and they definitely have this sort of moral code that I could definitely find a way to relate to. You see, they only steal from stores stuff that hasn't been bought by anybody yet, and as long as those stores don't go bankrupt because of it. And let's face it, no store would ever co even come close to going bankrupt from the amount of stuff they are stealing. There's even a scene in the film in which a clerk actually catches the little boy and the little girl's shoplifting, and he even goes like, eh, fuck it, just take the damn thing. Secrets start getting slowly revealed, but not even revealed, hinted at more, I would say. I mean, sometimes a character would say something or act in a strange way that would really make you go like, huh, what was that all about? I mean, it's actually the grandmother who I feel is the most peculiar of the bunch, but you just write her off for being, you know, old and even kind of quite senile. And it's actually the younger boy who really feels like he's the least comfortable in doing these schemes with this family. He actually feels he's kind of reluctant every now and then in engaging in certain activities of the family, but he eventually starts warming up to everyone and everything. It's actually the teenage girl in the film who has the most decent job. I mean, she is a sex worker, sure. She works at a hostess club where she masturbates for anonymous clients. But is it stable? Yeah. Does it pay well? Hell yeah. Is it hurting anyone? Fuck no, quite the contrary, as we get to find out during a very special moments she shares with one of her clients. And it's actually the couple in the film who are really trying their best at, at keeping a job, but they're kind of, kind of fucking up. And it's the teenage girl who actually uh, sees through everyone's bullshit. I mean, she, she appreciates their kindness, but she also says, hey, let's be realistic. I mean, it's not just love that connects us all together, it's money. We depend on each other for money, that's the most important thing. Like I said, the film definitely doesn't want us to judge these characters, there's the sort of ethical spectrum that each of the characters finds themselves on at one point or the other. The film is definitely also a lot about family, of course, about what it means to be a family, about what it means to be a parent, and about how certain individuals' perception of that can really differ from what has been set in stone as the norm in our society for such a long time. Even though we are rooting for some characters who are essentially stealing, they seem to be some of the nicest and the most loving and caring people on, on planet Earth. They definitely seem to care a lot for each other and to look out for each other. The film does an excellent job at presenting us with some characters who are essentially criminals, yet make them seem like some of the most endearing people in the universe. There's such a like simplicity to their dynamic, and they're a lot more innocent than the society in which they live in and the society which judges them. Uh, is blood thicker than water? Who knows, I mean strong bonds don't necessarily have to be built on blood. This film has one of the best payoffs I have ever seen. It has real genuine surprises that you really don't feel like they are artificial and the twists are really, you, the ones that you don't see them coming but when they do eventually do come they just make a whole lot of sense instantly. The ending of the film really feels earned and you really have to pay close enough attention to the dialogue, certain things might go over your head if you're not paying enough attention but it's definitely very cleverly written and I would highly recommend 
recommend this film. Thanks for watching my review folks, as always I love you for it. If you want to see me later, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell and the notification thingy so you can see me later in other videos. And what can I say, thanks for watching again, don't forget to stay cool, stay awesome, keep on watching movies and have a good evening or a good morning or whatever it is, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Thanks for watching again, goodbye.